Hi, it's Karina and Katrina from Tone It Up. And having a bikini body means you feel confident and beautiful in any suit that you choose. And taking care of your body is a form of self-love and respect. Hi guys, it's Kirby. Welcome back to Pretty Unfiltered. Today's guests are Karina and Katrina from Tone It Up. Hi Hello. guys, how Hi. are you? Thanks, Thanks for, for having coming. us. Thank you for coming. So um, today we're talking about body confidence and feeling good with yourself. And I thought, who better than these two? Because Aww. they basically have taken over the fitness and wellness world, especially on Instagram. So thank you guys for coming. Thank, thank you. So we're happy Thanks to be here. So I'm a fan of you guys, but let's talk about, let's just go to the beginning and talk about your story and how you got started. For those that might not know. We both had just moved to the area in Manhattan Beach and I was hanging out there a lot on Friday nights, reading a book, newly single at the time. With so. like a hat over her eyes and like, she was just like this. The recumbent bike was On the recumbent bike. Like that's just like hashtag <laughs> chilling. Then when I was settling into my stretch, she mm -hmm. comes up and she goes, my, my you're flexible. flexible. Do, do you, you do, do yoga? yoga? <laughs> and I'd never taken a yoga class before. Yeah, and then we, you know, instantly became friends and realized we kind of had the same passion for fitness. We wanted something that was really refreshing, that women could go and meet new girlfriends in an area, and that was something that she and I were craving, mm -hmm. and that was positive and uplifting and not so much about I need to fix this, or how do mm. I fix this, or can we talk about this body part? It was more, we wanted something that was really new, and you're beautiful, and we set out to create it, and it kind of, we built it, and they came. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, because people were craving it, and also it's it's one of those things where people didn't feel restricted either, mm -hmm. but like it's just a lifestyle, I mm -hmm. think, in my opinion. Let's talk about bikini bodies, like that's like all over the internet, it's all over magazines, especially because People are starting to focus on spring and summer now, which mm -hmm. is weird because it's still cold it's and raining outside. outside. <laughs> so um, I'm sure you guys get a lot of questions. Like, how do I feel confident in my body, in my swimsuit? Um, I know for me personally growing up, I was always, I was curvier than a lot of my friends. And so I always felt just a little bit self-conscious about like the cellulite in the back of my legs. And I just didn't, I wanted to measure up to everybody else. So what advice do you guys have? Um, I also have cellulite and I know that feeling like and wanting to hide it and you know especially in my teens and 20s I would not even wear shorts I wouldn't yep. but now in my 30s I'll rock a bikini and I'll wear short shorts and I'm like you hey, have the most there? gorgeous legs I've ever seen in my life I mean <laughs> these things are like as long as they come up to here on the <laughs> You know, it's but, just you never know what you have and you just have to rock what you what you have too. Love every bit of your mm -hmm. body. You get to know your body and praise it and just share it and it's just that confidence. Yeah. And, self -love. and I would say, uh, yeah, and self love too, that's a big thing. And then also self respect. So even taking care of your body and kind of feeding your body and working out is a form of self love and self respect. And I was just gonna go on your, the bikini body phrase. Sometimes it gets knocked and then sometimes it's like, you know, what is a bikini body? Yep. And even when we say that, we're not saying, you know, get bikini ready, you're already ready. Your body is gorgeous and beautiful. But we also believe that if you want to work up to something, if you feel like you haven't been able to respect and take care of your body the way that you want to, then we're gonna be there to support you so that way you feel like you're your very best self and most confident and most beautiful on the beach, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. And so I think getting bikini ready yep. is kind of, it's fun and it's something that you can look forward to, but it's also just about bettering yourself. I wanna to talk to you guys about your love for fitness initially, because we, we now know the story of how you guys met. But growing up, did you ever struggle with body confidence or your weight or just feeling beautiful? I think that every young woman struggles with that because of what society feeds you when you're younger. Totally. You know, that you have to look a certain way, have to be the same as everyone else, or if you're a little quirky, then you're weird, you know. So I think every young woman does go through that. And I know we both did. Yeah, we definitely Is there a specific moment that you guys remember growing up? <sighs> Man, so many. I was like that tall, lanky, awkward girl with big bushy eyebrows that everyone made fun of. That everybody wants <laughs> I'm now. I'm trying to get those same bushy eyebrows right now and I want but, to be tall and lanky. But you know, those are the things that I love now, but it was mm -hmm. because 
society and people were telling me that that was weird back then that then you you know have those insecurities and then now as an adult you learn that everything everything about you is beautiful yeah you know I was actually the heaviest girl in my class wow. and uh, my I wouldn't be able to shop but I remember going into a store with my mom and they're like are you aware that we don't carry sizes that your daughter can fit in and I won't name the store but it was more embarrassing for my mom and that's when I actually mm -hmm. realized not embarrassing um she was embarrassed I'm sorry she was sad and didn't want me to hear and then I was also sad I didn't want her to hear it was like kind of like the moment that I realized that she knew that I knew that I was heavier. And so my grandmother bought me a nutrition book and I started running and my dad kind of built a home gym downstairs and I just started to discover myself in fitness. But, but yeah, I was teased. I think everyone is teased at some everyone point. Everyone has so, that moment where yeah. you're, you're teased about something and then you get older and you realize, oh, those are the things that make me awesome yeah. and that people like about me. Mm -hmm. So there definitely is hope. What do you tell people who might be, and I know I go through this all the time, I'm sure some of you do too, but what do you tell someone when there is so much information in this world in terms of diets and exercise? What advice do you give your viewers and your readers? Well, we definitely like to simplify it because it doesn't have to be that complicated. Yeah. And nutrition wise, we have our nutrition plan and we mm -hmm. always stick to lean, clean, green. If you can mm -hmm. stick that in your mind and stick to that, you yeah. know, and follow those rules, it's easy. You can eat easy. anywhere with that rule. Yeah. Like, totally. Even if you're going out for fast food, you're like, how am I going to keep this lean, clean, and green? If you're traveling, you're on, like on an airplane or anything, mm -hmm. just choose the options that are either lean protein, something that's cleaner, which I know is harder with fast food, but that's a drastic <laughs> example, and then greens. So it's just like go for the greens, and it is. It's a simple way of looking at it. What do you think is important for women, especially this year? What, do you, what, what, what advice would you give to women out there today? I think it's the message of love. We're doing our, our January, our, our New Year challenge right now, yeah. and it's the look for love hashtag. And if you can find love in everything that you do, in yourself, in others, we always say that love always wins and you can never go wrong if you always love. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> when we first started the look for love challenge, I think there was like maybe 50 people that hashtag look for love. I think they're like, looking for love. It was like a different type of hashtag. <laughs> kind of like then booty now, call. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we kind of like coined a couple terms. Um, and so now it's like tens of thousands, maybe even up mm -hmm. to 100,000 hashtags. And if, yeah. you, if you start looking for it in your life in 2017, you'll start seeing it. It doesn't have to necessarily always be a heart. It could be um, just someone being really nice, a stranger or someone that you see every day that is just showing love and exuding love. And the other thing for this year, we want you to be authentically you. And we want you to think about kind of what you said, what you what you thought wasn't acceptable or maybe you were insecure about growing up. Let that shine through and let, let other people know that that's who you are. And that's what really brings yourself to life you know yeah. ladies thank you so much this was such a fun interview Thanks. let's talk about what's coming up for you guys anything we should be on the lookout for oh can you talk about it yeah yeah Wait, should we give like a like a big hint so we are doing our very first tone it up tour in 2017 Yay! so we won't say everywhere we're going, but it's in the works with several cities across the United States. We want to bring the Tone It Up experience and to, to everyone and be able to meet as many, many women as possible that has been part of the community and part of this journey and we want them to meet each other and we were so excited because it's yeah. been a lot of work. That's a huge yeah. undertaking. Yeah. That's yes. like, okay, schedules, planning, Yes. Everything. We or, just don't know how people do this. Yeah, I know. We're like, how did Beyonce go on tour? Yeah, what's we going on? And ask her some advice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Beyonce, amazing. So, guys, let me know in the comment section below your favorite part of this interview, who you want to see on upcoming episodes of Pretty Unfiltered. Uh, subscribe to Pop Sugar Girls Guy, please. We have a new episode every week of Pretty Unfiltered, so you can get your fix. And uh, as always, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Kirby Johnson. I'll see you guys next time.